Hi, Cosmo here. We're playing Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This is a mobile game and we're going to do our first online battle. So this game, you can play it free to play. There are in-game purchases. So, you know, as always, be careful with that aspect of it. And this is opening blind bags of Pokemon cards, just like in real life. So if you're not into that kind of thing, you know, steer clear of this game. But we're going to play it and do some battles here. So this is our very first online battle. We're against someone uh, from Japan, because I am in that region. So I get matched up with them. I've done a little bit of the trading. I've got a few cards, but we have a, a rental deck. The game gives you rental decks while you're still kind of getting everything together, which we don't have. Uh, let's see. I guess this guy's our best guy. We'll pop him in. I have in this deck because I did the like the uh, tutorial. Oh, that's a fancy Charmander. There's a Onyx in this deck. That's my go-to when I was doing the practice rounds was an Onyx. So if I can get him, I'll be very happy. We'll pop our Jigglypuff down. We'll play this. We get to draw two cards with the Professor Oak. Hey, there's our Onyx. That's who we want. Because we don't have to evolve him or anything, but he needs three energy, three fighting energy to be able to do his attack of 70, which is pretty exciting. So that guy put, he's got a Charmander, but he put like a Psychic Energy onto his card. So your attacks require the correct energy type. So we generate energy every round. This guy has beautiful cards. This guy's, got, this guy's played a lot more than I have. So our Jigglypuff has these silver energies, which is anything. You can use anything. His uh, pincer there needs two green energies and my onyx needs three fighting energy. That's all I'm really going to focus on is just getting onyx with three fighting. We've kind of put out our, our first Pokemon there just to kind of take a little bit of damage. We don't really want to give him this. We're going to give it to onyx instead. And then at some point we'll give our top Pokemon an energy to retreat and get him out of there so onyx can shift in. But because they've got life advantage on me like if he used his pincer on my onyx he'd do a bit of extra damage and i don't want that i don't want onyx to be sitting there taking damage while we get his attack ready draw two cards that's always handy then we know what we get a nice little surprise cubone sand shrew we have a sand slash so we may as well put him down then we can evolve him into a sand slash again another energy on onyx this guy has given his pincer a fire energy. Again, he cannot use that to attack with his pincer. He needs two green energy to do that attack. And now he's got a psychic energy. I don't think he has any psychic cards in his bench or anything. Oh, I, oh okay. Yeah, Krabby can use it. He's got a, a silver energy, which is kind of like a wild one. Farfetch'd. He's a pretty cool guy. He has one energy requirement and does 40 damage and no evolutions. So, good little card there. Nice little easy one. All right, so we've got a backup here. Again, now he's got green energy. He might be able to put that on his pincer. Smart, smart. Get ready for a good fight here. We've got our Onyx ready. So I could swap out our main guy here. Flip a coin and do 50 damage per head. So you could do 100 damage. Wow. Okay, that's But that's not a guarantee. He could do zero damage. So it's a, that's a bit of a gambling card. You, you're going to throw it out there and hope you do damage. And at the right moment, you're the sweet spot. You're going to be like, oh, I wish I could. And then you do nothing. Not great. All right, Onyx. Let's get this guy. We have a weakness to him, but he can't attack. Because he has green energy. He has one. He needs two. And his next energy is purple. So we're pretty safe here. The best he can do is retreat. Might be the play to go for, buddy. Is he going to do it? Now he's got three energy. Oh, a healing card. I like. I haven't played much of this yet. Like this, Obviously, this is my first online battle. And I've only done a few stages of the tutorial stages. Like the... um battling the computer and stuff so i'm still learning it's only recently come out in my area uh, i think globally 
It's only recently come out as well. So, we're all kind of new, unless you're in New Zealand or downloaded it from New Zealand. In which case, I could have, I should have. I feel a little behind now, but that's okay. It's a, uh, it's a long distance. It's not a sprint. Right, that guy is gone. He was, he could have done some damage against us, but we're, like, we're rock, but our weakness is grass. Not water. In the Pokemon other games, water would have done some damage. But here, the card game, it seems like we have one weakness for Onyx. So we're okay. All right, Pinsir, 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 buddy. You haven't, I don't, you haven't even attacked yet. You've got yourself all kinds of energy coming in. I think your deck is one you put together yourself. And it might be a mishmash of different types of Pokemon cards. It might just be a mishmash of all the cards that he's kind of collected. He's put all these fancy cards in there. But they're not matching up. So he's getting energy types that he can't even use. There goes his pincer. He's got one Pokemon left. And once they're defeated, that's kind of it. You're getting the wrong energy. Those purple energies, I don't know why you're getting them. I don't know what you've got in your deck that's making those generate. But you can't use them. No one can use them. Unless you've got Pokemon that can use wild energy, any type of energy. But this, this is this it? This might be it. Because he can't attack because that purple energy, Charmander needs fire. I think that's it, buddy. Wow. Oh, no, swapping out. But still, now you can't attack because you just gave Charmander your energy. We are in the beginners. I am a beginner. They are a beginner. I think they're a little bit more of a beginner than me. However, you, we're using a rental deck. They're using clearly their own deck. And that doesn't look like they put much thought into it. I don't have enough cards to kind of build my own deck that I would be happy with. So I'm going to use these rental decks to begin with. Then we'll put together a deck. And see what we can come up with. What creative solutions and plays we can do. Oh cool, a Rapidash. It's, it's not going to help you here. It's, it's over. Our Onyx play was the way to go. This guy's mishmash of energy did not help him. Good night, sweet prince. That's our first online battle. I just wanted to share this one just so we can see what our starting uh, skills are. So then in the future when we come back to it, we can be like, oh, I remember our first game where we played against a guy who clearly had no idea what he was doing, but we sort of did. And now we're a Pokemon master. Hopefully, we'll get there. Thank you for watching. Definitely check this out if you're into it. Oh yo yo, let's go, Cosmo, C O S M O, Cosmo, yeah, Cosmo, C O S M O, Cosmo, go, Cosmo, yo, Cosmo, C O S M O, yeah, Cosmo, C O S. -M -O.